Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul. I uh, want to do a quick showcase this morning on the Sky Base. I've had a couple of uh, friends of mine ask me how the Sky Base is going. I wanted to see how the update was. And I mentioned I was going to be doing that, so I decided to go ahead and give a showcase on that real quick. So this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, let's go ahead and head over there now. So I've done a little bit of work on it, a little more additions, a little more decoration, um, and it seems to be working out pretty well. The only difference is when I appear at the base, I either appear in front of the teleporter or I appear on top of the base. It's a lot better than appearing underneath it and dropping to your death. So, well, of course not death, but still, that's a long drop. And it takes a while. So anyway, but I still say that the scenery on this planet, the, the view from the sky base is amazing. So here we are. And I'm appearing on top again. Okay. So anyway, as you can see, I added a few more um, landing pads here. Gave it a little bit more of a view. Uh, nighttime here. Hopefully my power is going to hold out. Um, so this is what the base looks like now. Um, you can either enter over here straight into the base or you can enter through the side over here. There's some stairs leading down to a nice flaming area over here where I put all my cargo containers, I put some uh, refineries, uh, two large and three medium for the things I want to do. One of the things I have planned in the future is to do a farm, uh, or multiple farms actually to start producing some of the most expensive items in No Man's Sky. It gives you an outlet to be able to, uh, when you get to a point, like for instance, when I go into my credits and I see, you see up here, I've got like 4.2 billion. I'm nearly at the maximum you can get. I think it's 4.226 and change that you can get as the maximum. But as you will find, you may want to upgrade a ship once in a while or something along those lines, and you don't feel like going and getting the upgrades, so you go ahead and just start buying those upgrades. So what ends up happening is you end up going through that money like water. So, yeah, having one of those bases to be able to sell, uh, or one of those farms, I should say, that you can create items that will sell for $250 million a apiece is kind of handy. So you see that this is my main teleporter area right in the main front hallway of my base a couple of items for decoration I always have a couple first aid kits nearby that I can access when I need to um, this is mostly decorative none of these things actually do anything um, but it's all to make it look a little bit uh, you know more livable if you will um, this gives us a different viewpoint I do have some plants up here as you can see by the icons at the top yeah that's uh, Heck of a view. So, representation of every single plant you can have in the game. Um, but you can see that there's extras, obviously. Uh, but it gives you the ability to see everything from up here when you need to. And it's quite a view from up here. I really like that. Um, I'll take the quick way down. Ah. There we go. Ah! Keeps getting attached to that ladder, I swear. It's got uh, duct tape or flex seal on it, one or the other. I haven't decorated this hallway yet, but I've got this as kind of a cozy little room to hang out in. Um, yeah, some of the decorative options and stuff like that. One of the things I do like about you know, No Man's Sky is the ability to kind of hang out with your character, take a look around. So, kind of a nice view. There we go. A couple of glitches I've added in in order to be able to see them. So, not much to talk about, except that, you know, it gives us a little bit better option for the sky base. I can always expand out in multiple directions here, uh, upwards as well. I'm not sure how high up I can go. Uh, probably another 20 blocks or so before I can start having problems with space if you will. So I kind of like this option. It's kind of a, this is kind of a cozy area over here. I really like this a lot. But it gives you, like I said, access to a great many 
uh, abilities to, well, not abilities, but just an absolutely wonderful view of this area. So I really, really enjoy having a sky base. It just makes it that much cooler. And it uh, gives you a couple of uh, areas that you can enjoy, you know, some, some friendly platforms for people to land on. Uh, you cannot get an extra ship to land over here, so I can't actually access a menu and ask for an extra ship to land. You know, no matter what, say, cannot land here. It's got to be on ground, unfortunately. Not on a landing pad. I don't understand why that is. Uh, I've even tried to allow it to, or see if it would allow me to land it on something else. Like up there. And, you know, nothing. Does not give me the option to land a ship anywhere. So, anyway. That's it for the sky base. Not Again, not a lot going on. A little bit of decoration, some flags, things like that. And that's pretty much all I've got. Um, hmm. My freighter is literally facing the opposite direction than the point at which I added it in. So. And there's been no changes to the freighter since... I've been here. Yeah, one of my favorite cargo ships, or sun solar ships, I should say. I got a full fleet of frigates that go along with my freighter. A lot of the living frigates as well that you'll be able to get in one of the later expeditions that are coming in the Redux. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed my uh, expedition number five Redux as well. Anyway, so this is where I'm going to end the video.